Olana is one of the great treasures and most unique aspects of American art. When I think of Olana, I, I think in terms of creating art out of nature. An artist, a moment in time, an aesthetic representation of the Hudson River School uh, and the epitome of it that uh, comes together in Olana through church. I can barely think of just a handful of places like it across the country that are really dedicated to an artist and his creations. Olana is a special place in American preservation because it represents someone who is deeply sensitive to the connection between civilization and the environment. A really major part of Olana's large-scale design is its carriage roads. The no part of this design is more important and more cinematic than the arrival at the main house. One of the things that makes Olana so important is that it is the physical expression of this remarkable man's vision. We have taken great strides in restoring many aspects of Olana. There is still a tremendous amount to be done. We're about to restore the landscape around the main house. This includes opening up views of the river, which are currently obscured, fortifying the retaining wall, which is a major design element. The grass right in front of the house is basically dirt. It was meant to be beautiful terracing. The main barn is in terrible condition, and we are looking to restore that. There's still a lot of work to be done in the house. One of the upcoming projects is the conservation of a painting of Catskill Creek. He paints this when he's studying with Thomas Cole, and this painting had a very tough sort of late 19th, early 20th century life and ended up with a big hole in it. And it's a wonderful and important early church painting. As a painter, uh, the Hudson River School in many ways was like the first glimpse the world God of America. It was sort of the first peak inside of this new world. And in many ways, these guys were the National Geographic photographers of their age. People understand that the art is really important, but p very few people understand to the extent that a landscape artist became a landscape designer who actually designed a landscape where the movement started, where people can come in the 21st century to experience this design which is a three-dimensional design as opposed to a two-dimensional painting on a canvas. The fact that he's a painter and he's looking at the windows at the view shed and, and imagining how that would translate into landscape painting, all of this just tells us what a genius he was. We have chosen this year to be the focus of our critical initiative. This is a curatorial fund in honor of Betsy Bruin and Stephen Hannock. This fund will enable us to focus on the many areas that are still in great need. It's also to interpret the collection, whether it's stories about America's first school of painting, if it's America's first conservation movement, if it's church's incredible artistic impulse, if it's our recent commitment to connecting Olana to contemporary artists and environmentalists. That should inspire the world to just look at everything more visually, more aesthetically, create beauty in their lives, understand the world around them, how important it is to preserve places of beauty.